I'm here with Dr. Romano to do two word problems for the DAF. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the Dat Destroyer book author. I'm here with Professor Blois doing questions on word problem calculations. This is probably the highest in demand type of questions um, on the DAT and he's going to be here to show us the mechanics on how to go about solving these questions. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So, Professor Blois, if you can get to work and show us. Sure, Professor Blois here. Uh, let's read the first of these word problems together. An inheritance of $144,000 was originally to be divided by among eight relatives. Suddenly, one more relative steps in to claim an equal share. How much less will each of the original eight inheritors receive if the estate is redistributed to include all nine? Well, actually, it's an easier problem than it may look at first to blush. Okay, first, let's find out 144,000, how much each of the original eight inheritors would have received had the ninth not been introduced. Then, we're going to calculate how much each of the nine inheritors are going to receive with all nine introduced, the difference between the two will answer the question, how much less each will receive if the ninth one is included. Okay, so now we're going to reduce these two fractions. Now I want you to notice that the eight is gonna divide nice and evenly into the 144. The nine is also gonna divide nice and evenly into the 144. When you're doing the death problems, they're constructed such that they will work out most of the time, they'll work out to nice even numbers. They don't wanna really create prob more difficult for you than necessary. So let's uh, divide 8 into this. 8 goes into 14 once with 6 left over. 8 goes into 64 8 times, so that's 18,000. All right, now let's go to here. 9 into 144. 9 goes into 9 once. 9 goes into 140. 9 goes into 14 once with 5 left over. 9 goes into 54 6 times, so we have 16,000. 18,000 minus 16,000 is 2,000, and that's how much less those original eight inheritors would, would will receive with the ninth one being introduced and everything redistributed. Okay, next problem. If 4n, 5n minus 1, and 46 are three consecutive integers in an arithmetic sequence, what is the value of n? And now an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which we start with one number, the next number is arrived at by adding a constant. And the, one, the number after that is arrived at by adding the same constant. So you're adding k, then adding 2k, then adding 3k, and so forth. So that means the difference between any two numbers in an arithmetic sequence is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be that number k. So what we're really looking for is the number n. The number k here is the number n. So that means the difference a1 minus a0, the, uh, the, the first term minus the zeroth term is going to be equal to the difference between this, the second term and the first term. So that is to say 5n minus 1 minus 4n is going to be equal to 46 minus 5n minus 1. Make sure you put the parentheses here because the negative sign is going to be distributed through. So this becomes what? 46 minus 5n plus 1. And let's see, let's simplify this on the left. 5n minus 4n is 1n. n minus 1 is equal to what? 46 plus 1 is 47 minus 5n. Let's do a little mental algebra here. Add 5n to both sides, we'll get 6n. Add 1 to both sides, we'll get 48. 6n is equal to 48. Well, divide both sides by 6. 48 divided by 6 is 8, and that's what the value of n is, 8. And that's how to do, that's the, how to do this problem with an arithmetic sequence. Okay, Professor Blois, I want to thank you. These were really good problems. Thanks. Um, I will see you guys in study group, and we'll have more videos to come. Remember, these videos are free. Don't spend a cent on any videos. We're doing it for free to help you guys out. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.